Hey guys, this is Redneck Gamer X. Let's talk about some of the newest games that have come out so far. Well, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, WWE 2K18 sucked. I knew it was going to suck. I had a good feeling that it was going to be bad. Um, you know, a lot of people that do play wrestling games, they want to play these games to show their fans, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to play a crappy game that I know is going to be crappy. It's buggy. Uh, what else is a problem? Their promo system sucks. Um, graphics update is really good. What else is a big problem? Same gameplay mechanic. No difference. Uh, it's pretty much WWE 2K17. They might have changed a little bit in career mode. Even career mode is boring. And it makes zero sense. I've watched several gameplay footage of the career mode. And it's lackluster. It's There's no excitement. It's It's a hollow shell of what it could have been. And it frustrates me that there's not a good wrestling game out there right now. And the fact that they did not add any voiceover work whatsoever is lazy. What's another game that came out that's... Oh. Uh, Assassin's Creed. The new Assassin's Creed Origins came out. I have no problem with it. It looks like a great game. It, it looks like it's going to be freaking awesome. And I am going to buy it. But there is one problem I do have with it. And it is... It's just common sense. You know... I, I played every one of the Assassin's Creed. And... It just makes no sense. Why would you put a level system in this game? It's stupid. And then, of course, microtransactions, which I called that. I, I knew that was going to happen as soon as they said, Oh, you could get legendary armor. Oh, you could get this, this, and this. And microtransaction hits again, you know? Um... But why? Why would you put a leveling system in a game where you're an assassin? Your job is to assassinate people. It makes no sense. Why? You know, it defeats the damn purpose of being an assassin. It really does. I mean... What is the point of you being an assassin if the guy that you're hunting or getting ready to assassinate is a level higher than you and you go to try and assassinate him and it doesn't work? You don't get that one hit shot that you would feel like, oh, I'm a badass assassin and I just took this guy out. You don't get that feel. And everybody's bright. Oh, it's open world. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, it's huge. I, I get that. But... Explain to me why there's a leveling system. Is it so you can pump out more bullcrap with your uh, microtransactions like you did with Shadow of War? And that's another game. I've already beaten it. 15 hours. That's how long the game is. It took me one day and I beat it. That frustrates me because I expected more from Shadow of War. I really did. After I beat it, there's nothing else to do. I got bored with it. There's no point of playing it anymore. And a lot of it wasn't the microtransactions. That, that wasn't a problem for me because I don't... You know, my internet's down right now, and I'm trying to look for a better company 
from where I'm at because I'm in I'm pretty much in middle of nowhere. But um, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is how bad the story was. Everybody was all like, "Oh, the story is so good. It's it's great. It's it's surprising." And this, this, and this. And I knew it was going to happen with Talion before the end credits. I knew it was going to happen with Talion. I knew he was going to end up becoming what he was going to become because they drop hints in the story, and you can kind of feel where he's what it's going to happen to him. I'm not going to say anything. Because I don't want to spoil it for anybody that's gonna play it, you know. So, but that really bothers me that it, they were so lazy with it. And even the Nemesis system wasn't even that good. And then the ending where you had to uh, defend your forts and all this stuff. It, to me, it was just all thrown together at the last minute. And it was, it was half ass. Um, it was lazy and half ass I would say that. Um, even some of the racing games that have came out so far are bad. Which I was so surprised about that. I heard about some of the new racing games that have came out and they were bad. Um, I don't really play racing games. I mostly play, play RPGs. Um, but I know... Uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z is coming up and I, I already have a feeling that it's not going to be good I can just look at a game and I can tell that it, it's not going to be good um, waiting for these new upcoming games in 2018 which I'm really excited about the um, God of War uh, what else Spider-Man um Monster Hunter Worlds, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then, like I said, another game that really was, wasn't was that good. You know, I never played it because I don't have a Switch because I think a Nintendo Switch is a piece of crap. You know, it's, it's pretty much an iPad with Wii controllers glued to it. That's really all it is. Um, and it's not meant to last long. Um... Uh, battery charge on it is terrible um but um what else um yeah IGN was all raving about um uh, rabbits uh, rabbits versus mario all this other crap and it it's not really even that good it's it's xcom is pretty much all it is and then um IGN was also you know they're they're raving about um, Shadow of War and how good it is and it's like this generation of video games have lost their touch on what a good story is you know and I know next year you know a new Final Fantasy is coming out the Cloud series um, and that one's going to be I'm hoping it's going to be good I'm praying to God that it's going to be great um, but like I said, this has been Redneck Gamer X. I'm just letting y'all know my thoughts on the newest games that have come out, the good, the bad, the ugly, and for God's sake, please don't go waste your money on wrestling. It, it's a waste of money. It really is. Um, Origins, I would say pick it up if you want to. Assassin's Creed Origins. If you like the Assassin's Creed series, you're going to like this. I just do not understand why they have a leveling system in it. It makes no sense. It feels like the only reason they put it in there is so they can find a way to get microtransactions into it. And... Um, that's the only thing I think that hurts the Assassin's Creed series. Because, like I said, I'm an assassin. My job is to assassinate people. And if a guy is, you know, a higher level than I am and I can't assassinate him, it defeats the purpose of me being an assassin. And it's it's kind of stupid. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky. But to me, it's, it's kind of dumb. 
But this has been Redneck Gamer X. Leave a like and a subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.